In this combat tutorial, we'll be walking you through basic concepts like strength and armor, but also going over some parts of combat that you may have missed in the tutorial, including passive abilities, exertion, and break. Combat in the Banner Saga is no casual experience. We put a razor-sharp focus on strategy. Factions is a turn-based game centered around choices, a combination of pure strategy and positioning of chess and the special abilities and stats of modern tactical games. Each character has their own strength and armor stats, and this is the most important thing to understand. Your strength determines how much damage you'll do, but it's also your health. As a character loses strength, they do less damage. Armor blocks this damage. This Axeman has a strength of 10 and hits an archer with an armor of 6. You can see she lost 4 strength, and on her next turn she'll do that much less damage. But try to attack an enemy with high armor and you'll be chipping away one strength at a time. Even worse, if your enemy has higher armor than your strength, you could miss the attack completely. You'll need to lower their armor fast. Every turn presents you with a difficult choice. Lower their strength or smash their armor. Mitigate their damage early or set them up to take a big hit in the future. Unlike most strategy games, you won't get far by dogpiling the nearest enemy. Even before you start to consider special abilities, you'll balance multiple choices. Who is my best target? Do I go after their strength or armor? And do I use willpower to boost my attacks? Willpower changes the dynamic even further. By using willpower, your characters can hit harder, move further, or use special abilities. But there's a catch. Willpower doesn't replenish over time, so use it wisely. Willpower may let you run the extra few steps you need to incapacitate an archer in the back row, or may tip the scales to finish off that dangerous character you couldn't quite finish off with a normal attack. Exertion is how much willpower can be used on any turn. As you can see here, this archer has an exertion of 3, which means that on one turn, she can add up to 3 willpower to her attacks, or move 3 spaces further. Finally, Break is the amount of damage a character can do when attacking armor. Break lets you always chip away at the enemy's armor, even when severely wounded, making high break characters dangerous regardless of their strength. While this alone gives every character a ton of choices on every round, that's only the tip of the iceberg. Things really start to heat up when the abilities enter the picture. Each class has an inherent passive that requires skill to use. An Axeman who stands next to an ally forms a shield wall, granting armor bonuses to both himself and his ally. Position multiple Axemen together and you start to multiply this effect. In contrast, a Varl warrior hits so hard that he sends damage out to everyone standing next to his target. On top of this, each class has an activated ability, designed specifically to interact with their passive ability and the other classes on your team, to create an almost limitless array of deep and layered strategies. The Warhawk uses Tempest, hitting multiple enemies, in turn causing a chain reaction of destruction in his wake if played smartly. The Sky Striker can secretly trap a tile, causing her arrow to strike anyone who walks through it, ending their turn. That's it for basic combat. Head over to the advanced tutorial. We'll go over some of the in-depth concepts, including mischance, setting waypoints and movement, and customizing your characters in the Proving Grounds.